I'm Leah Lutz and I am a barbell medicine coach. I get to do a coach's corner for you all. And we're gonna talk about the deadlift today. Today it's gonna to be the lockout. Overview, a full deadlift lockout has to include your knees locked, your hips open, and your shoulders behind the bar. First, locking out completely. You need to have your knees locked out. Soft knees are gonna get you red lights in a competition and they do mark an incomplete deadlift. You stand up, your knees are no longer in flexion. The second thing that you also need to lock out would be your hips. So in order to complete the deadlift, you must actually open your hips. If your hips are even slightly closed, the lift is not done. And we see this a lot in a working set. People will cut their reps slightly short and keep their hips closed at the top. To sum this up briefly, in order to finish your deadlift pull, you need to have your knees locked out and your hips need to be extended. You basically want to be thinking about standing up tall. Often, in order to make sure your hips are locked out, I will cue a lifter to squeeze their glutes at the very top. You do not want to be in a posterior pelvic tilt. You should be standing up in a normal anatomical position. In training, and as a coach, I want everyone to be practicing full lockout at the top, meaning that your chest is proud. So a proud chest would be thoracic extension. Your shoulders are straight, not hunched forward, not pulled back unnecessarily. There is no shrug in the deadlift. So at a meet, it is possible for you to get three white lights, have that legal lift without thoracic extension, but you lean back and your shoulders are in fact behind the bar. But again, in training, you're gonna be working on standing up straight, hips are locked out, your knees are locked out. You have completed each deadlift rep for your successful training.